Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to 4722 Dominique. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I just wanted to come at you guys right quick to kind of give you some advice, you know, just some helpful advice, I think, and what you need to do when you're preparing to go on a job interview or either preparing to go seek employment. A lot of us don't know, you know, the tips and all that good stuff on how to obtain employment. Or how to keep, excuse me, keep the people. Um, basically, you leaving an impression on those people's mind when you leave there. Um, so I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about that, right quick. This is what I do to prepare. First, I get up, I go ahead and put my face and everything on. And when you're doing that with the makeup and stuff, you don't want to look too flashy when you go on to seek employment. You don't want to look too like you're and you don't want to beg when you leave in there either. You want them to feel like they need you. So you're basically selling yourself. You don't want to, um, like I said, seem desperate. You don't want to go with these loud makeup colors on. You want something kind of neutral. You want something that says, you know, I just stopped by, you know, to fill out this application and, you know, basically to seek employment. But I'm not desperate, even if you are. Or, you know, if you do, you do. Call me back. If you don't, you don't. So to start, you know, to give that impression off, you want to start off with, like I said, neutral colors. If you wear makeup, you know, you want to get something that's blending in with your skin. You don't want to be too flashy. So basically what you're doing is uh, going, like I said, not looking desperate. You're just going to seek employment. Okay. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, just a neutral look today I'm not doing anything that's like I said bright or bold I'm just doing a pretty much of a neutral look brown because I'm wearing a brown blazer and if you guys stay tuned I'm going to uh, let you see the finished result because I learned I, I don't know well yes I do know I know that God is with me all the time and I think I have favor in that area when it comes time for me to seek employment. It just, it, it never takes me long to find a job. If I make up my mind that morning, I'm going to find me a job. It's like by the end of the day or even, God, before that week is out, somebody calls me back. Because when I go, I'm confident. I'm not cocky and I'm confident. I don't let them know I'm too confident, but I let them, you know, I'm confident enough within myself to basically sell myself. Like I said, you know you. And you basically going in there with the, give, leaving the impression that I'm going to be an asset to your company. You need me. It's not that I need you. You're going to need me because I'm going to benefit your company in some type of way. Whether it be a warm smile, whether it be working over, whatever you need, that's what I'm going to do. So you go in there with that kind of impression and you, you know, you be kind and courteous and basically look the part like you came for work. And most of the time what I say is when um, they ask me when can I start, I say yesterday. <laughs> and it just, I don't know what that do, but it was, it, they just be astounded by that. I can start, I can start as early as yesterday. When you want me to clock in, when you want me to be here. Pretty much um, is how I handle it. So, you just got to go in there knowing your thing. Believing in yourself. Knowing who you are. Alright, and again, I'm doing a neutral look. I'm going to do that, oh God, with my Harmony palette. This brown right here. You can see that. <clears throat> I'm not doing anything. All, you know, just subtle. Kind of subtle. It's early in the morning. I'm tired. But when you're going seeking employment, you got to get up early. You got to be there like you want the job. You don't go in there after no 12 o'clock talking about you looking for no job. Because they going to first of all look at, look what time you come in. You know, that matters to some people. So, I'm just doing this basic brown enough to look you know decent I'm doing a new lip as well and lay 
later I go back and touch that up. So now, take my big lash. And it's not so much about the makeup today. A lot of people are looking for jobs and, you know, not finding it and wondering what's going on. Why nobody is not calling me back. You got to be persistent. You know, you got to keep going when somebody says no. Don't take it personal, ladies. Don't take it personal. And gentlemen, if you watch, don't take that personal. Because really, oh, I got a boo-boo. It's their loss. You know, you make them feel like it's their loss. You want to be able to call, get it to the point where you walked in there with everything you got. I'm talking about bad. Just walk up in there, not cocky and arrogant. You know, good morning. How you doing? I came to submit my resume application. I heard that you guys were hiring and I would like to leave my information. You know, and leave your information. Leave a lasting impression. You want it to be when you call back to check on that job that they know your name. You know, when you call and say, I was there the other day, and they say, well, oh, in my case, Miss McFarlane, okay, okay. And even if they don't hire you, if they hire someone else, they'll get to the point of wondering, dang, why didn't we call her back? You know, or in the future, keep constantly thinking about you. They can't get you off of their minds. So that's the impression you want to leave. You know, you don't want to leave out with your head hung down if they say they already feel the position. You know, you leave like, okay, well, it's y'all lost. I came here, I tried, it's y'all lost. That's how you want to leave it. I have had jobs where I've gotten jobs on the spot. I don't know what it is, but I have several times. Not to be bragging, but I sold myself. I got to believe in me first before anybody else can believe in me. And, you know, I just want to come on here and let you guys see how to be properly dressed for an interview, how to prepare yourself, how to have your, you know, makeup if you wear makeup. Because sometimes we go looking for jobs and it's just a mess. We don't look the part. We're coming in there after 12 o'clock. These people finna go to lunch. Oh, I hate that. Because if I was hiring, I, if you come in my office at 12 o'clock, you best believe you wouldn't be getting that job. I don't care how you present yourself or how you sold yourself. You late. If you late to come seek employment, you ain't going to be on time for work either. You know. So you have your ducks in a row when you're going. That's it. And I got a Q-tip for clean up, y'all. Because I left a little mess down there. But anyway... When I go back in with that new brown again, I'll fix it. And like I said, I don't want to be too subtle at all. And in my creases, I'm going to put like a chocolate brown in there. Because I do, you know, want to give some impression that will show that I have on a little makeup. What is for you? Is going to be for you. Regardless. When it's your season to be blessed. Nobody can't take that away from you. But you got to be. I heard Oprah say this before. You got to be prepared to meet opportunity. That equals success. If I'm going somewhere ill prepared. Even if it's my time and opportunity. I missed it. It ain't because God didn't have that for me. We put God on all kinds of stuff. Why well, it ain't happening for me. Blah blah blah. You know it ain't. God has no respect of person. You just got to be prepared when opportunity comes. That's all. So, and sometimes opportunity don't come to me. I go and get it. I go and get it. So, just want to kind of say those things and give you some helpful tips. On what I do. All right, now I'm gonna do like a. I think I do a pink lip today because I got that brown up there, and I need something to pop that blazer out because I'm wearing like a. It's kind of light, like a pale looking. It has brown and stuff in it. I'm gonna show y'all the finish result. Okay. And I'll take my Ruby Kisses and put that on top. For a little more of a shine. 
and as you see the look is coming together already so what I'm going to do now is take my powder my MAC Studio Fix powder and I mix two colors together but the bottom the color thing Oh, NW40, and I think NW43 because that was a little too dark, and the N40 was a little too light. So, what I do is mix the colors together. Okay. And I gotta hurry up because I don't want to be. Telling y'all, and I'm running late or whatever. And I know I told y'all I was. Don't think I'm tripping now. I was listening to my husband about this job thing and all that. Oh, I did. This situation here is just for me to show y'all how to go about it. I do have an appointment or whatever, but it's totally different. But anyway. Um, I just happen to be getting ready for an appointment so I can kind of show y'all this is the same look I would do if I was going on a job interview. You know, I take my beads and it goes with my jacket because see, I'm having a blazer on but I'm having jeans on. I don't want to be going in a place of employment like, you know, with my slacks and my jacket, which is good. That's good. Not a job. I mean, see, God, I can't get it out. I'm going to seek employment. Okay, in this way to explain to you, if I was if I was going to seek employment, I wouldn't wear my, me personally. I wouldn't wear my slacks and stuff if I'm just looking. If I had an interview, yes, I would wear my slacks and my uh, my top and my nice blazer or you know my suit jacket or whatever. If I had an interview, but since I'm just seeking employment, I'm gonna be semi-casual. This uh, necklace here is to basically, you know, kind of be the semi-casual look. Kind of formal, but not. So, when I put my jeans on, it'll play it down a little bit. And I put my earrings on. And um, my jeans. And I'm going to let y'all see at the end the whole outfit. How it came together. Okay. You see, my makeup is not too much. It's not too um, less. It's just right, in my opinion. You know, everybody is different. This might not be your thing. You know, I respect that. You might have a whole nother way you go. But I'm telling you what works for me. When I look for a job, before that week is out, I always have employment. They call, somebody calls back. And like I said, it's no goodness of my own. You know, when I go, I take God with me, too. He's with me all the time. And that's just how it goes. Put favor on top of your gifts and talents that you already have. And, you know, that's it. I mean, you, that's, that's it. Okay. And I may do, like, a little more eyeliner. Because it is kind of, you know, you don't want to be too, too bland. But you want to be simple and elegant. Okay. Alright. And, oh, I said I was going to go back in that brown. Especially since I had a little boo-boo there. And I said I was going to put that um, chocolate brown in the corners, but I think I'm going to leave it like it is. Because there's nothing wrong with how it's, you know, turning out. You know, it almost looked like I got a, like a pink on, but it's not. It's that brown. I showed you guys it's that brown. So, that's, that's pretty much my face and everything. And I'm going to comb my hair down and flat iron it a little bit more because I put those crimps in it. So, I don't want to wear crimps to a job interview. I don't. I want to wear it straight. Or not a job interview or seeking employment. That's just me. So, I'm going to 
comb all of this down and go ahead and flat iron it and all that good stuff right quick and i come back on here and show you guys the finished result of how everything is going to come together in the end so you guys just hang on for a minute and i'll be right back all right Uh oh hang on i'll be right back okay i'm back this is the pull together look the blazer with the uh necklace and the jacket i wish i can zoom all the way back but being that i have nobody here recording it it's kind of hard for me but i just wanted y'all to kind of see the overall look and then i button up my uh jacket and everything and this is pretty much it i have no idea how i can even begin to show you guys like my uh pants and all of that good stuff it's just not gonna let me even do it so hang on let me see what i can do because i want y'all to see so bad but <sighs> okay this is the uh overall uh makeup look and i kind of if you're going for like a receptionist job or something, you want to look the part like you're going to be that receptionist. I got my hair kind of pinned in the top, as you can see. And I did try to get some of those crimps out, but they didn't come all the way out. So, um, I wish you could see. I got my pants on and my flats. My little flat shoes. Hang on, let's see. My Bible in the flow because I was trying to rig up the camera some kind of way but this is my jeans overall that i got on god i wish somebody else was here to do a full body shot you know just something kind of um you know pulled together put together but anyway this is the overall look um my chain and everything on so you guys can see and i'm gonna close my jacket up in the meantime and you know my makeup is looking really like a more of a Anyway, thanks for tuning in to 4722 Dominique. Bye, guys. Have a good day.